A pilgrimage is a journey to a sacred place driven by a religious motive where individuals seek favor, fulfill an obligation, or offer thanks. It is an instinctive movement of the human heart. For Christians, the holy land where Jesus was born, lived, and died has always been a significant pilgrim destination. In time, other sacred sites like Rome, where St. Peter and St. Paul were martyred, and places of martyrdom like Namgongo in Uganda became revered pilgrimage spots where people visit to honor those who shed their blood for their faith. Pilgrimage to Jerusalem, the Holy Land. Pilgrimage to Rome, the Holy Land. Pilgrimage to Chibeho, where Mother Mary appeared to the three visionaries, three young students. Pilgrimage to Lourdes in France, where Mother Mary appeared to the young Benedict, a small girl. And pilgrimage to Fatima, also where Mother Mary appeared to those small children who were looking after sheep. Reverend Father Stephen Chandia, the Vice Rector of St. Mary's, the National Major Seminary in Gaba, shares insights into the various pilgrimage destinations that hold great significance for Catholics. Among these places is Chibel, where many pilgrims are drawn due to the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Now, Father Chandia explains that one of the central messages of these apparitions is the call for repentance, a profound invitation to return to God and seek forgiveness. She appeared to the visionaries with the tears in her eyes. And she conveyed a very, very specific and special message to them. She said, the world should repent, repent, and repent. Three times she repeated these words. The world should repent because the world is heading to a bottomless pit, to a self-destruction. And she elaborated this by making, giving them that vision of what will happen if the world does not repent. And she brought what will actually now happen in 1994 onwards, the issues of the genocide. The young visionaries were able to see river turning into blood flowing. He further elaborates that another message conveyed at Chibel is the acceptance of suffering. Now pilgrims are reminded that while not only suffering is a consequence or personal action, it must still be embraced. This message encourages people to endure undeserved hardships with faith as these trials can unite them with the sufferings of Christ leading to salvation. Accept sufferings that come your way. Accept sufferings that come your way. And I think that phrase your way is very important because there are two types of sufferings. There are those sufferings that come not because we have done something wrong and we deserve it, but there are also sufferings that come our way because we have done something wrong. Therefore, it's a consequence of the wrong we have done. And she tells us, accept those that we do not actually deserve, but they come to us. And there are many of them, there are various types. Father Chandi explains that God may not remove suffering immediately, but he provides the strength to bear it. By accepting these trials, believers join in Christ's redemptive suffering, offering their pain as part of the path to salvation. God may not take away our sufferings immediately, but he gives us strength to persevere. And when we accept that suffering, our sufferings are joined to the sufferings of Christ for the salvation of the world. And so we are encouraged to undertake or to accept sufferings that come our way because they are a means of salvation. Nora Osende for UCTV News. There is jogging today in the house of the Lord. There is jogging today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord.